She got her own house. She got her own house. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got her own house. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to seal your tile grout lines. I did already sweep and mop, but right now I'm just walking through looking for any little bits that I may have missed. I just found a little bit of paint left over by the builder that I'm scrubbing up. So I'm gonna be using Sealer's Choice Gold, the 24 ounce. And then I'm also going to be using some microfiber towels. And then lastly, I'm going to be using a grout applicator brush. So before we get started, let's do a quick water test. I just have a cap full of water that I'm gonna pour into the grout line. And as you can see, it turns dark or wet, it gets wet. And that will no longer happen once you actually seal your grout. It will look like nothing is on it. So I am getting set up right now. I am reading the instructions slash directions to make sure that I don't do anything wrong. I always recommend doing that. Um, and y'all, I could not get this bottle open at all. It really gave me the blues. I ended up having to get up and go get a pair of scissors to cut off that little safety seal there. And I was finally able to get it open. But nonetheless, I'm back now with my gloves on to avoid skin contact like it recommended on the bottle. And I am filling up fully the applicator bottle and we can get started. It is exactly like coloring or painting. You literally, guys, just put the tip of the brush into the grout line. And as you can see, it is turning wet when you apply the sealant over the top of the grout lines. It goes from white to a dark grayish wet looking grout line. And here's a closer look now so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, but this is all I'm going to be doing for the next three hours. It took me a little bit over three hours to do all of the areas uh, that I ended up doing right now. I'm working on the entryway of my home. And after I do a little section, I go through and I clean up the excess uh, just to make sure that I don't get it all over the tile. I only want it to be exactly where I put it. This is supposed to actually last for 15 years if you apply a couple of coats, but I highly doubt it. Maybe if I put this in a section and I never walk on that area again, it may last. But for high traffic areas, I'm just hoping to at least get a year or two out of it. This was a back breaking, okay? I went from crouching to sitting to standing. I even had to lie down at a certain point because I just kept getting uncomfortable. I definitely recommend having some knee pads if you own those or some sort of cushion to sit on. Don't be like me. Your back will thank you the very next day, okay? Um, so this is how much I have left after doing this section. Um, you, I, I'm almost done, uh, but I have about a fourth of a bottle left. So I'm just now finishing up right in front of the stairs. And then I'll show the final look in just a second. This is the final look of the first coat. I'm going to let this dry for 30 minutes before I go back and apply a second coat. But for now, I'm going to move on to the kitchen. I am done with this little section of my kitchen floor tile. Here is the final look after the first coat. Uh, don't worry about little dots that you see on my tile. 
the builder did leave behind quite a bit of paint. Uh, but I am tired, y'all. Okay, so uh, you would think I would be done, but I'm not. I'm moving upstairs into the master bathroom to go ahead and seal up my bathroom before I head back downstairs to do the second coat in the entryway in the kitchen. I definitely recommend sealing your grout line sooner rather than later. Don't put it off, okay? Just go ahead and clean your grout really good and uh, spare yourself the trauma later. But I definitely plan on making this a part of my annual routine. Like I said, if I can get a year out of this, I will be happy. Uh, but definitely make sure that you get around the toilet too. Don't leave any grout line unsealed on your floors. I'm just about done up here with the first coat in the master bathroom. I'm getting ready to head back down and do uh, the second coat downstairs off of camera. And then I will go ahead and do a quick water test to show the final results of the sealed grout lines. So it is time for the water test. Now I have that same cap full of water. This time when I poured in the grout line, look at that, nothing happens. Feel free to do this from time to time to make sure that you don't need to touch up your sealant. And that is it, guys. I hope that this video was super helpful. If I forgot anything, I apologize. But you guys know the drill. Let's jump down in the comments and let's talk about it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next video because it takes a village. Cheers.